So last night we had our own version of a little miracle. All three adult cats were in the same room without trying to kill one another. No growling, no hissing, no fighting. They just... It's a miracle. Seriously. And today? Today? Sora is out of the room that she's been spending the last few weeks in. <laughs> or she was. So hello, and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. We are the, I'm filming the day before Easter, and so we are using an Easter cup. All the little chickadees coming out of the colored eggs. Um, again, I think this is one the daughter got. <laughs> I don't remember anywhere else it came from. And in our chickadee cup coffee mug is the puka tea chamomile. It's actually puka herbs. I keep calling it puka tea. It's puka herbs. Uh, chamomile, vanilla, and manuka honey. It's one of my favorites of theirs. I actually found this one in a grocery store. But, uh, yes. Yeah. Blissful dip in a pool of calm, it says. It's a nice sweet tea. It's a really beautiful tea. Uh, this one has... Where is it? Chamomile flower... Fennel seed, sweet and bitter, licorice root, manuka honey flavor, and vanilla flavor. This is the one that has all the percentages on it. Also, fair wild certified ingredients, licorice by dried weight, 20% fair trade ingredients certified according to the fair standards, licorice and sweet fennel. It says infuse up to 15 minutes. This has actually been sitting here for a little while because I got to watch my husband do his things. Let's go ahead and give it a sip and we will get started. We got a lot, folks. We got a lot, folks. Love how it smells. Now I did double bag it. We are talking a we are talking a big mug. So I did double bag it and hopefully it has at least gone to regular strength. It might need a little longer than what it's been given so far to get to full strength. But I think it's probably pretty close to there. Okay, she tastes just a little bit watered down. Yep, she's working on it. She's working on it. Oh, but it's a good tea. I can already taste all the goodness. So if you are new to Dami Tries This, I hope you will take this moment to go ahead and uh, subscribe and like and share and comment down below. Well, you can comment down below as we talk. But we we'll hope you'll do all of those youtube -y things to give us a helping hand here, particularly if you like seeing, you know, indie makeup releases, which is what we're take, talking about today, because it is our Indie Makeup Monday. Let's get started. Like I said, there's a lot. There's a lot. Even even accounting for how many doubled up pictures I have, because the picture will be where I can look at it, and then there's the description down below. Even accounting for that, or pictures that I duplicated because I had to get a better picture of something to pick the best one for you, uh, even accounting that all of that. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. All right. So first on our list is from Catrice, which is a brand that I've actually only recently gotten interested in. And I've tried a few of their things and I'm actually pretty pleased with a lot of the stuff I've tried. Uh, they have released the Aloe Vera Eyeshadow Stick. So they say expressive eye makeup is only one simple step away. Highly pigmented eyeshadows come in practical stick format and the creamy texture is easy to apply and blend. The formula is rich with aloe vera extract that provides additional nourishing effect. Uh, so they say blendable, creamy texture, highly pigmented, smudge proof and long, long wearing, cruelty free, vegan 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 my apologies key ingredients are aloe vera extract and they are formulated without alcohol parabens or microplastic particles there are four shades golden toffee touch of rose olive glam and lavender brown they are five dollars a piece so on the one hand i like these i i like the the 
it's a start. To me, this is kind of a starter. I suspect that if these get more popular, they'll add more shades. I do like their starter on this with the olive and the darker, what looks almost like a mulberry tone. Uh, that would probably be the, well, there's a golden toffee. Well, regardless, it's, it might be a, another brown. At any rate, I do like these range of shades that they have here. They're very, very pretty. Would I buy them? No. Uh, I have an eyeshadow stick that I've been trying to get myself to use. I don't use them. I much prefer the pan shadows and the pots that I have from Moira. Um, eyeshadow sticks? I don't know. The one that I have is kind of thick, so that might be it. Um, I don't see myself being able to use it for much unless, you know, like glide over the entire eye. And my eyeshadows do just fine with that. These might be thinner so that I could probably maybe use them as more of a liner type thing. That's the only thing I could think that I would ever use an eyeshadow stick for because I said I can't even get myself to use the one I have. <laughs> it's, just, it's sitting there. It's in my stash for the month. And I never ever pick it up. I actually have stopped going into that drawer pretty much almost entirely. That's kind of scary. I need to check some things in there before we move on with that. Anyway, so yeah, my final, uh, my final, no, probably wouldn't. Uh, next we have from Salem Cosmetics, uh, Nola, Nola, uh, yeah. They have their spook, spooky cute blushes released. So I don't recall seeing the covers for these, but I again, it's another one where I kind of like what they're done, what they've done with the shade range. Although with this deeper one that they have, I could see that one for me, for me at least, being used more as a bronzer. The other colors I'm not so into. Uh, they are fifteen dollars each, cruelty free, smooth and easy to blend. Uh, they are permanent items, so they're not going to go off on you. They're not going to be limited edition. Um, really, I think they could have taken one of the two brown, lighter brownish tones and made one more of a mauve color. Um, if they'd done that, I'd probably be interested in them. Uh, but based on the shades alone, probably not. I probably wouldn't buy these. Uh, just just based on these shades, these particular shades. It'll be nice to see if they expand them and um, make them a bit more across the board. All right, so next we have from Menagerie Cosmetics. They are releasing new singles. All right, so we only showed four shades. There's supposed to be five. Twilight, Pink Topaz, Opalite, Silver Fox, and Onyx. And I'm assuming the onyx is a black. I'm assuming. Uh, but um, these are $20 a piece. Uh, they are pretty colors, I'll tell you that. The purple and the lighter bluish and the rose color, they're very, very pretty. I do think the lighter uh, blue on the bottom and the more champagne-y color are very, very similar. Uh, different enough, but they're very similar. Um, but for $20? Uh, no. I, I They have a couple of palettes I want. They have the two, the cat and the dog one. I really want their paws and claws. That's what it is. I really want those. But I wouldn't spend 20 bucks on a single. They don't say how many, uh, what the, the, how much you get in that pan either. So yeah, those would be a no for me, just based on the price. The colors are pretty, but I'm, I'm not spending that much on a single eyeshadow. I'm just, no, just no. That's no. <laughs> That's no, I can't do that. Uh, next, we have coming out from Unearthly Cosmetics, the Don't Be Jelly palette. So I don't think that photo caught all the colors. So far, all I've, I've seen from them has been a reel. So I did my best to catch what I could, but they didn't show the entire palette. But you get you get that there's a like a, 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 a 
kind of a brighter blue and a white matte on the bottom. And then there's the rest of these colors. Uh, there will be 12 shades, 6 mattes, 6 shimmers. It says coming soon. There is uh, no release date for it yet. However, I'm intrigued. I'm actually interested in this palette. So depending on the price... They didn't say there were any duochromes or multichromes, so hopefully it won't be outrageous. So depending on the price, I'm actually interested in this palette, and I would have to say, if I had the money, yes indeed, I would probably purchase this. Again, depending a little bit on the price. But these colors are beautiful. There's like two purples or three purples there. There's one, looks like a dark brown. Uh, the three blues, all the colors are distinguished enough from each other that having the three purples in there doesn't mean it's going to end up being a muddy look because you've got three very different shades of purple. You've got three very different shades of, of blue. And then you've got the, um, like the tanny orange, the dark brown, the white, and the two pale greens. Again, you're looking at colors that are very different from each other. So you could probably use this palette to make a single look with no problem. It is absolutely, I think it's beautiful, honestly. It's intriguingly beautiful. I'm looking forward to this one coming out. I don't know if I'll be able to buy it at that time, but if I had the money, I probably would. And the cover is just, it's just gorgeous. The cover is beautiful. All right, so next we have from She Glam, their new Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. So this will come in 36 shades. It'll be about $9, $8.99. Oh, we've gone through that before with me <laughs> talking about that. Um, so 36 shades is pretty nice. And if you look on, if you look at, here's, here's the shade range. They actually have a nice photo where they show a bunch of different people within those shade ranges that um, presumably are wearing the foundation. Uh, the shade range is absolutely fantastic. I will say I am having a little bit of trouble with some of their claims and some of their other photography that they've shown. They've shown a before and after, and while the after does not look photoshopped, I don't see a powder foundation looking that smooth. I mean, I, again, I, like I was just saying, I don't see a powder foundation looking quite that flawless, finished. I it just, but the photo does not look at all photoshopped. Now it might be retouched in some way and that's, I, I don't know folks. So I'm taking the claims of the grain of salt. They say it's soft, blurred finish, water resistant. It is oil controlling, uh, high coverage. They say it has shea butter and jojoba seed oil to uh, visibly smooth and moisturize skin. It sounds very intriguing. Um, I actually would like to try this. Uh, they've had a few other things that I've been wanting to try of theirs. So, at some point in the future, hopefully soon, I can put out a little order, a small order of She Glam stuff, and we can actually try that here on the channel. Um, so yes, would I buy this and try it? Yeah, would I buy it? Beyond that, we'd have to see. Moira Cosmetics. Y'all know, it's already out. And this is actually, um, actually was already out to begin with. They've added 12 new shades to their eye-catching dip liners. So as I recall, I think these are somewhere like $7.50, $5.750. Um, I've already wanted to try some. They've got some beautiful colors in here. They've got that aqua, the dark green, the medium green. They've got the purple. Those are the colors I can see right now. These are not the kinds of tips that I actually prefer when I'm lining my eyes. But for some of these colors, yeah, I think I'd try these. I'm interested in trying those. They look interesting. So Bella Beauty Bar has quite a bit going on right now. They have the Poison Garden 2. The Make Your Own Magic. 
and the Pastel Garden, all released all at once. So let's take a look at these. Uh, so the Poison Garden 2, I don't have a whole lot of information on it. It is mattes and duochromes. It is going to be $59. Uh, looking at this color story... I think when I first uh, looked at this on their Instagram, I was actually kind of intrigued. But now that I'm looking at it, I mean, really looking at it, because I try not to, I try to make my reactions for you guys as close to initial reaction as I can. Uh, obviously, I have to see them to download them and everything like that. But then I try not to pay attention to them and dwell on them too much, which is good because with the ADHD, I tend to forget a bit and then I can go back and it's almost fresh. But anyway, so I think when I initially saw this, I was intrigued. I do love the cover artwork for this. It's very pretty. I don't, I get it's supposed to be a garden, but I don't quite get, I don't quite get these shades out of that cover or out of something that would be a poison garden. I would expect to see a lot of darker shades, a lot of darker, um, deeper purples, deeper mauves, just deeper colors. There's a lot of lights in here that just don't appear to fit. Uh, there are a few colors I do find very pretty, but overall for me, this palette really isn't a match. And um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not as intrigued as I was, and I, if I had the money, I probably wouldn't buy it now that I've had a chance to take a look at it. It just doesn't really seem to fit the theme for me. And most of these colors, at least most of the mattes I have, dual chromes are a different story. I don't, I'm wearing a multi-chrome on my eyes right now, and it's not multi-chroming for me at all. So, um, yeah, I, no. I'm just going to go no. The Make Your Own Magic palette. I think we talked about this and I said I was actually kind of interested. Um, it's a pretty palette. Anyway, it's uh, pan, nine pan, hand press, multi, hollow chrome eyeshadow palette bundle and singles. Um, they're doing a pre-order for eight business weeks. That's a long time, folks. I really wish they wouldn't do things like that. Only one eyeshadow palette or bundle will be allowed per person. Limited quantities available. The bundles are 145 and the singles are 17 and oh hell no. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Bella Beauty Bar? Do you, th do you think you're like, you know, I, I don't know, Pat McGrath? Jesus Christ. I kind of get it. Multi-chrome, hollow chrome. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. Um, but no, 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 not for that price. Not for that price. That's just, no. Just, no. I don't understand. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, folks. I just, I don't understand. All right, so the third one that they've um, released is the uh, Pastel Garden, which is 24 pigmented creamy and blendable mattes. They say the formula has been improved. 11 unique duochrome shimmers, one unique multi-chrome shimmer, uh, Lux faux leather packaging, $69. All right, so for the number of shades on this one, $69, $70, whatever, is not bothering as, me as much. Um, it is a pretty palette. It does meet the, you know, it's pastel garden. The cover is really interesting. I mean, it's kind of on the plain side, but at the same time, the faux cover and all that stuff, I think that's intriguing. Um, but you all know what I'm going to say. If you've been here any length of time. It's too big. It is too big by probably six shades, at least. And honestly, looking at this, there's some there's some of these mattes they really could have done without. 
So they have two yellow mats. I can kind of see those, but they have a, but they also, one is a bright yellow, one's a soft yellow, but then they have these kind of peachy colors. Actually, it's the pinks. They could have gotten rid of one of the pinks. They could have gotten rid of one of the periwinkles. They have two tealy kind of blues that are very close. They could have gotten rid of one of those. That's a starting point. So for me, this should have been smaller. It should have been much. I don't think this, You. I think you can make a very good, um, with 24 shades, I would hope so. You can make a very good look with this. It doesn't come out muddy, but at the same time, I just think that at least half a dozen of these shades just could have gone. I think they would have been fine without some of these colors, really. Would I purchase this? No. Um, it's even, I mean, it's just too big for me. It's too big for me. <laughs> just, I would get so lost in that many shades. I've had big palettes like that. I actually still have a couple of big palettes like that, and I never pull them out. Why? Because I get lost. My ADHD gets overwhelmed and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. And honestly, the palettes, it's, it's my brain. So other people who like big palettes would probably love that. For me, my brain just goes, did you want to do what now? <laughs> so it's the ADHD, folks. <laughs> you really trust me. Moving right along. Uh, Suva Beauty is coming out with a UV Festival Hydra FX palette. They say it is five shades, ten colors. It's ten shades. They're just variations on yellow or blue or green. Uh, it is a cake makeup palette. Uh, this is compact full scope kit and makes uh, great stunning looks easy and convenient. Colors individually or mix them together on the inside lid for effortless Suva Mixology. That's cute. Suva Mixology. They are Hydra Liners formulas, a punch of solid opaque color, smudge proof and transfer resistant. It won't fade until it's removed. I've tried the Hydra Liners and there's a reason I don't use them. Anyway, key features, water activated cake makeup, smudge proof and transfer resistant, UV colors and vanishing duo chromes, fine liner brush included, cruelty free and vegan, $32. Would I buy this? No. <laughs> Honestly, and then that makes me sad. I'll be honest. That makes me sad. I think this is very, very pretty, but they're Hydra liners. And I've used Hydra liners. I've used their Hydra liners. I've even used their UV Hydra liners. Um, they are not water resistant. Even using setting spray does not make them water resistant. And I have weepy eyes, which is why I'm almost always, when you guys are looking, it looks like I've got smudges down on the bottom here. Because I do. Because my eyes are always leaking when I'm making my you know, doing my makeup. Um, hydro liners do not stay for me. Their hydro liners do not stay for me. I, they were, they were really neat to me when they first came out and then my eyes refused to cooperate. I bought a bunch of them at one point and the UV ones for me even were more problematic because for some reason they actually encouraged me to cry. My eyes just didn't like them. So uh, would I, no. I have several other Hydra liners too. They don't work for me. Eyes washes them right out. Doesn't matter. They can say that they're water resistant all they want. They don't work. They aren't for me. So moving right along, we have from Dandelions Company, their new spring palette. So this is going to be out uh, Saturday, April 15th. Why does it feel like we're already there? <laughs> we're not, but it feels like it. Uh, this can be out Saturday, uh, April 15th. And uh, let's see. 
She spent a lot of time in the formulation of this palette to get the right mix of pastel and pigments. And thinks that it can be used without a primer and still get these nice colors. Uh, $40 for the bundle, 12 of 12 singles, $50 if you want to purchase with the palette. The singles will be $4.50 a piece. Oh, for the bundle. I'm sitting there going, why? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, she doesn't have a name for it yet. She's sharing that later. I haven't gotten there. They have been slowly showing off these shades one by one. And they are so pretty. I'm on the fence. And I'm on the fence for a couple of reasons. I don't have a problem with the bundle being the cost that it is. I could see that if I had the money, that wouldn't bother me in this particular case. My concern is that they're, my big concern is that they're pastels. She's saying you do not need to use primer to get them to show up. Has she tried them on my skin? My skin eats pastels and browns, neutrals, alive. Eats them for lunch. They're delicious. They go away. They're just, they get taken in so quickly and then they're gone. <laughs> um, oh, but God, there's some pretty, there's uh, that there's the teal and the, the blue and at least one of the purples and the brighter yellow. I'm interested. I am so interested. So I'm on the fence. Maybe I'll buy a couple of the singles. Oh. I'm wincing because uh, if I bought the singles and then I decided I liked them and wanted the palette, I'd end up with extras. Because <laughs> I would honestly, I honestly, if I bought it, I would honestly get it with the case. So, um... Yeah, on the fence, it's very pretty. There's some shades in there that I'm really intrigued by and would really love to try. So I'm going to have to think about it. MBA Cosmetics. It's You know, it's been a bit since we've actually gotten inundated with MBA Cosmetics stuff. Uh, they seem to have slowed down just a little bit, but they do have a uh, pre-order. On a pre-order right now, they do have Galaxy hollows so these are in two formats they have these press pans and then they also have these pigments okay so i'm going to tell you right now these are a no and that's because of the price mostly the quad pans are 80 dollars with the magnetic palette it's 83 the singles are 23 dollars. again you're looking at multi-chrome holographic makeup that's bumping up the price you're looking at a smaller brand that can't eat as much of that price or bring, find ways to bring that price down easily. So just based on the price, too damn expensive for these pressed. But these are some pretty colors. Well, I'll be honest, they probably wouldn't work on me anyway. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, like I, I said earlier, I'm wearing one now. Is that looking multi-chrome to you? I don't know. I don't know. I did add a little bit of gold in the middle because when I was putting on my makeup, I didn't see it doing its thing. So, I don't know. That little flash of gold in the middle, I added it. At any rate, so um, I don't think these work on me either. <laughs> They've got some pretty colors in there, but they're no based on those prices. The pigments, I don't have a price. But I suspect, I don't use loose pigments. In fact, I think I finally got rid of all of my loose pigments because I wasn't using them. I will say, loose pigments are beautiful. And I have noticed that they can be highly pigmented and all that stuff. I just don't think to use them because they're all off by themselves in their own little packaging somewhere. And it's just much easier for me to use a palette. Go ahead and call me lazy. Uh, one gram per jar. Um... But again, also a no. So Jones Road Beauty has come out with the lip tint.
I like that. The Lipton. Like there's no other Lipton. You gotta come up with our Lipton. It's the only one. Anyway, uh, it is a modern moisturizing stick of color that effortlessly glides on to match your personal style. By either applying directly from the stick for a touch of color on the go, build or building a bolder, more dramatic lip. Colors are Cocoa Rose, a cool chocolate brown, Nude Mauve, which is a pale mauve, Just Pinky is a dusty pink, Mocha Rose Shimmer is a metallic brown. They are $26 a piece. These are beautiful. They are not for me. Again, it's a price point, but also, yeah, these colors just don't work for me, first of all. Let's let's go with that first. Um, I don't wear browns usually. What are you doing, Sora? <laughs> I don't wear browns usually, and um, unless I'm using them to uh, adjust a color, like if something's too bright, I will use, sometimes use a brown to bring it down. Not very often. If it's too bright, I will also usually use a darker berry or something. Um, but also, $26? Uh, no. No. Even on a stick that could, in a stick lipstick form that could last a bit longer than, say, a, a, a liquid lipstick, that, that's still too pricey. I get some beautiful shades and some beautiful results from stuff that's half that price. I'm one of the things about being in the position I am have been financially for most of my life is that I look at stuff and go yeah that's pretty but that one over there is just as pretty and it's cheaper I'll get that one and I usually find that the the price doesn't make that much of a difference all right next we have from elsewhere cosmetics I think we've uh, um, featured them one other time the latest addition to their makeup line, the new, okay, here it comes, Mangonada palette. That's an intriguing name, Mangonada. Um, I do believe that this palette thoroughly fits the theme. Uh, I've been on the fence about this one. This is a color story I would not normally be interested in. But I'm a little bit intrigued, just a little bit intrigued by it. Inspired by the rich colors and flavors of the famous dessert featuring nine shades that help create a wide range of eye-catching looks. I didn't know Mangonada. I never heard of a Mangonada. As a dessert. Have any of you tried a Mango Nada? You'll have to let me know. So they say the shades are uh, highly pigmented and velvety smooth formula makes it easy to bl blend and create seamless transition between colors. A mix and match the shades to create a vi variety of looks from a soft look to a bold and vibrant nighttime look. Um, it looks like there are, there is one glittery type shade I can't it looks like it might be a duochrome looks like there's two shimmers and then the rest are mattes no three shimmers and the rest are mattes that's a reasonable balance of those kinds of things for me um, I'm gonna say probably not I like the idea I like the color story I like that it matches the theme, and from what I've seen of the cover, it all works together. But uh, this is, I don't think this one is for me. It looks really pretty. I, uh, it is. It's very pretty, or I wouldn't be intrigued at all. I just, I have enough of oranges and all that other stuff, those colors, that make me happy and that work well enough for me. And um, I don't need all those shades in there, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, no. It's pretty they did really well. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad palette or anything. I'm just saying that for me, it's a no. Heritage Cosmetics. I don't think that we have um, had them on the, on the channel before, uh, but they are releasing a monthly lash box. The first box will be available on the 17th. So each monthly lash box will offer four different lash styles. 
And that's all it says. They're just introducing it. I will look around and like with everything else, I will list a price down below and a link for you to go ahead and um, subscribe if you wish to do so. I won't be subscribing to it. I'm not into lashes. I don't, I, I just use my own. So Trixie Cosmetics is coming out with the Extrava Ganja Collection. I'm gonna correct myself, it's probably already out because it says coming out this Friday. So it has the Extrava Ganja 12 Pan Palette for 48, the Flamin' Hot Liquid Lipstick for 16, the Kiwi Lime Malicious Lip Gloss for 16, Lime Scented, uh, the convertible bag is 32 The entire bundle is 70 and saves $10, uh, which includes the palette, both lips, and both lips. Apparently not the bag. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and talk about some of this stuff. First of all, not interested in the bag. I got tons of bags. Thank you, Ipsy. Don't think I'm interested in the lip stick or the or the lip gloss either so let's focus on the palette it's basic it's pretty the cover is pretty but you got two browns some yellows some greens some blues some pinks and they're all pretty basic for 48 dollars no I, I would not buy this and just uh, I have all these shades pretty much looks like there's only two shimmers the rest is mattes I have them all so no it's pretty basic folks the um, lip glosses or the lip stuff in the bag were more interesting to be honest and I'm not interested in those either so if I had the money would I buy it no it, it needed something. It needed something. It needed something more than just a pretty cover, if that makes sense. Blend Bunny released the re the final two items that we didn't get in their five item release thing that we talked about last week, and that includes the Bare But There lip oils and the Bare Cheeks palette. So these are the same hybrid formula, I guess, of their other lip oils, but they have a slight mint scent. They are not cooling. They just have a very clean, comfortable, minty smell. Um, clear. Looks like a brown and a red. Uh, probably not for me. Okay, so Baby Girl is a bright pink that gives a very sheer pinky tint. Barely There is clear. And Love Bite is a bricky brown. They are $12 a piece. They're already out. They are apparently very hydrating. She uses she suggests using the 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 clear one as like a sleeping mask, which is what I use my Jack Blacks for. So uh so yeah, I'm not really interested in those. You can get glosses almost anywhere. Those sound intriguing, but not intriguing enough to encourage me to purchase it. Now, as you recall, the other, the Juicy Cheek palette that they were putting out, I had some issues with the colors. <laughs> they were just a bit not cheeky to me for at least half the shades. So this one, she wanted a more natural blush tones of variety light medium cool deep neutral warm so she's trying to hit all the skin tones and um under undertones all shades but stripped are safe to be mixed into lip oils the rest are pigmented so they can be used any way at your discretion choice with that knowledge this palette will be 32 it is already out i actually like this palette this is one of the few places where you can get away with almost a lot of nudes you know, kind of a nudie pink, a nudie mauve, a nudie brown, a nudie, you know what I'm saying, right? Right. So I think this one hit all of that. We've got two oranges, two that look to be on the 
uh, you know, more red tones. Then we've got some mauvey plum tones, and then we've got the browns. I can see the deeper brown being used as a contour color for me. The other shades I can see myself using. Would I buy it? I have a lot of cheap colors. Although I did, re I did recently thin those out. I like this palette. I really do for a cheek palette. And she says you could use it in other places as well. So I'm actually really intrigued. If I had the money, would I purchase it? Probably. Just because I am really, really intrigued by it. It's, it's, it's a pretty palette, I think. And it does what it's supposed to do um, in terms of skin tones and all of that. So I just double checked and that's it. That's all of it. That's all the stuff. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more. I really did think there was a lot more in there. Um, but you know, that's all the stuff. And, um, so tell me what down below what you're interested in if, out of any of them. If you are, I would love to hear your take. Uh, as, what do you think about the choices that I made that I said I would purchase if I had the money? I mean, we're allowed to disagree on, on makeup. We all have different things we like. I like a more full color glam look. Well, I can't go too glam, but I do use a lot of color. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. Some people like things more neutral. So some of the stuff that I said is too neutral, some of you will love. And that's just fine. We are allowed to disagree and still be friends, okay? And in the meantime, like I said, if you have not gone and done the YouTube things by now, please go ahead and consider doing all of that now. And we are going to go ahead and get into our tea and then we'll be on out of here, which I'm sure you will be happy to move on to your day, right? I know I am. It's cold though. We went from, I don't know if you saw the last couple of videos, but on Thursday's video, I was wearing a sweater. On Saturday's video, I was wearing short sleeves. We went from 70s to 80s, and now we're down in the 40s again. This weather, I'm telling you folks. All right, so we are still, well, kind of warm, looky warm, but we should be fully uh, flavored now, hopefully. Let's go ahead and give her a sip and get on out of here. Wow. It still tastes a little watered down. Two bags. Okay, so now I know. Pookie Tea needs three. Three for these head size mugs. <laughs> needs three. But you do get a taste of the Manuka honey that's in there. And what's really nice is that these teas, this tea in particular, doesn't turn all bitter and nasty when it gets cooler. That's that's something I truly appreciate. All right, so that's it. Hope you have a good one.